Hello and I'm Skirville. Welcome back to Night 5 Psychonauts. Last time we were searching for a Sergeant Iron Seagull Lair, and not only is it right there, blatantly on the screen, blatantly with warning signs, do not enter, and lots of other things, it is pretty clear that that's just not a Seagull Lair. I mean, I guess it's secret and the secret government facility which this kid broke into, but anyways, the time is to rage in the middle of the night. Let's get to this. Let's go to some advanced training. If we can get in there. Hmm. Tree? Oh, okay. Conveniency place hall of our tree to get to here. I there. saw Nils peeking into a hole in the girl's cabin. I'm hiding. And I thought. Woohoo! Oh, Nils. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh, I fell off. Wait. That doesn't sound good. Punchy? Thanks. I thought I was gonna have to eat my own arm. What? What is this thing? That's a bit drastic measure. I mean, GPC, a geodesic psycho isolation chamber. Oh man. Cool. That's not working. <laughs> I'm not getting psychic or anything. No, that's... I'm not getting psychic or anything. Something cool? Uh, no, it's a six sensory deprivation tank, a hermetically sealed metaphysical hot box. It's solitary confinement for psychics. Nasty. And the coach locked you inside it? Nah, the staff hasn't put any kids in the GPC since the 50s. Bobby threw me in here. Bully and dwarf accomplice should assault own size or larger only. Why even cooler? Perhaps notice gigantic bear with skin where hair should be? I didn't see anything in there. That's the whole point. Hmm. Just so. Empty now. Good luck, small ones. Hey, wait! Hmm. Well then, let's get into the sensory deprivation chamber. Ugh, that does not- that sounds horrible, but let's hop on in! Looks like one of the buttons is missing. <gasps> Wait. Oh. This is the button that Sasha gave me. It's a clue to the location of his secret lab. I see now. This is not... This is... It's not the secret layer. This is the secret layer. Can't you see? The secret lab is underneath the G... The G... You see. Ooh, now that's clever. Now see, this is a secret. It's just a GBC. It's Agent actually... Nine? I'm here for the advanced training. Alright, let's get done done. It's very... Ooh, ooh, card. It's very interesting platform. Very nice. So organized. what are we gonna learn? Bending spoons, burning stuff. All of the above. Let's talk to Sasha at nine. I've been hearing a lot about head explosion, and I was wondering. Science, Rasputin. That is what we practice down here, not parlor tricks. If you are serious about exploring the possibilities of your mind. Step up to the brain tumbler and we'll begin. Brain tumbler? Brain tumbler? That does not sound very. It looks like a giant washing machine for brains. Um. Is there a way out the sign? Uh. Is, does my mother know about this? Um. I'm pretty sure there should be a way through. I mean, this doesn't seem safe. But, uh. That's the point of the game. Let's dive so right in! What's this hairdryer thing do? Ah, you're ready for the brain tumbler. With this device, we will send you deep into your own psyche, where you should find unparalleled insight and power. Excellent! Wait, sir. Tumble away. Now just relax. This will not hurt. Unless something really very bad happens. I think something very bad's gonna happen, especially since you're going into your own psyche. You wouldn't just get sucked into your own brain and just like this sort of wow. paradox of just. Is this bleh. what the inside of my mind looks like? Not yet. You're still traveling to the astral plane. This is a tiny corner of what we call the collective unconscious, 
a place in which all of our unconscious minds are connected. You have just hmm. begun your training, Rasputin, so many of the connections with other minds are still not developed for you, and those doorways remain just out of reach. But the more you explore the mental world, the more connections you will form. Right now, the only unconscious world you can enter is that one, your own. Hmm. Step through it, and we'll continue. I just know something. The, the whole, like, texture for the background is the same as the intro with the brain. So, you, I see now you start off in, like, the whole mental world thing. And we miss, oh, yeah, all these doors. There's so many doors. Like, this is a much bigger game than I thought. Hmm. Anyways, let's go into the experiment. Diving head first. <laughs> Rasputin, can you hear me? Sasha, where am I? You are inside your own mind, but I'm not sure where. Tell me, what can you see? That's creepy. I see a rundown gypsy caravan. Do you recognize it? Yes. It's where I was born. I see. What? Compelling. You were born in a gypsy caravan? I guess, oh, I guess he really is from the circus. I guess he really is from the circus. <gasps> I'm gonna punch him. I'm gonna punch him right in the... Right in the door handle. Rasputin, let's get away. Let's see now. So he really was from the circus. Wait. Oh, there's so many people. Wait, which one's him? The second brain camp. Oh, I guess yeah, that's Raz right there. Hundred pounds. Hundred. Ooh. They're saying that the girl is relatively more than this, than the guy. Oh, I see Coach Andrew's face right there. So, <laughs> so you're saying that the only thing he's got is from the circus. He stole the world's smallest pony and used that to escape the circus to go to a psychic summer camp. Um, I guess that's true. Kind of bizarre. And I let's get take care of the static. Sasha, I'm going inside the caravan. What do you see inside? I'm not sure. It's getting fuzzy. Um, I, I, it also uh -oh. seems rather... No, I'll figure it out. Uh -huh. Ooh! Wait. <gasps> Punch. I'm in an egg. Rasputin, are you okay? Mama? What do you see now? I see a small, bunny-like animal thing. Hmm. An unfamiliar animal entity in a dream often represents a primal fear or memory. Follow it, and it should lead you somewhere important. Check. Okay, Mr. Bun. You and I are gonna be tight. Wherever you go, I go. Like two peas in a... Hey! Come back here! Follow the unfamiliar bunny entity. Oh, of course. There's these sharp thorns, though. I, I, all right. Oh, steak. What's the steak? Why is there steak? <gasps> Die. This. Back. All right. I'm sorry. Try to get other figments. Ooh. I'm almost. I'm going to get to rank. I'm going to get to rank ten. Oh, what's with this? Word? What's with the stakes? There's the stakes. The sharp thorns. It looks rather disturbing. 
And there's this bunny hopping around like nobody's business. Sasha? What is it? Another bunny? No. This is more of a super scary flaming eyed demon kind of deal. Oh. Hmm. What? Okay, I'm pulling you out of there. Just give me a second. Uh, Sasha? Hold on, I'm still getting some unusual interference. It's fascinating. As if someone else... Agent 9? Sorry, almost ready. Sasha! Ah! Hmm, that should not have happened. We need to try that again. Oh, I don't think I need to be in the tumbler with the glowy eye guys anymore. Suit yourself. You know, in many tribal societies, learning to defeat the monsters you see in your dreams is considered a rite of passage. I can train you to fight. Come see me when you're ready. Defeat the big monster? Hmm. Well, um... I think I need some, you know, some... I needed like get some like counseling or anything. That was rather disturbing. Uh, talk okay. to him. I'm ready to learn how to really fight. Oh, really? Hmm. What? Oh, uh, nothing. It's just that I didn't think you'd really take me up on that offer. It usually oh. scares the kids off. Well, not me. I'm ready Jeez. to kill for my camp. Listen, I'm sorry, but I can't train you. Agent Vodello would kill me. What's the big hmm. deal? What she doesn't know won't hurt her. You don't even have a marksmanship learned. She's a track. psycho. I could lose my job. She's a one. psycho. Nah, even she could know that anything that she's thinking. Over there and snuck into his sanctuary. Agent Crawler would never give you a marksmanship learner's permit. Agent Crawler. Never in a million. I'm off. Be right back after I talk with Agent Crawler. All right. And that's just a jump in the jumpity jumpity. Where would you like me to take you, Agent Crawler? Take me to the kids. Uh, let's go to the. Bring me to the geodestic cyclization chamber. Let's go to the. Let's go to Ford's. I mean, my sanctuary. Yes, so... noble cycle master. Ooh. Noble cycle master. <gasps> this is beneath the camp. Once again, this is not just a summer camp. It looks like a summer camp, but there's just so many things underneath the freaking camp. It just does needed. not make it's sense. It's an honor to finally meet you in person, sir. I thought I recognized you in my dream, but I couldn't be sure. Now that I see you in your element, there's no doubt. You're Ford Crawler, the greatest leader the Psychonauts ever had. Well, you shouldn't believe everything you read in True Psychic Tales magazine. But it's called True Psychic Tales magazine. What are you doing here at Whispering Rock? This training facility is built right smack on top of the largest titanium deposit known to man. It runs under this whole valley and makes this a very critical area for the Psychonauts. So I'm here to look after it and to make sure hmm. you little spoon benders don't kill each other. Makes, makes perfect amount of sense. Let's see now. What's titanium? What's titanium? Titanium is a very rare psychoreactive mineral that crashed here on a meteorite hundreds of years ago. It responds to psychic waves, focuses them, amplifies them. It can make psychics more psychic, but it can also make unstable people more unstable. Not hmm. everyone can handle that much activity in that part of their brain. It can drive them completely out of their gourd. Gives this valley an interesting history. Hmm? Sasha says <clears throat> I need to learn how to fight better. You want to teach you advanced combat on your first day? Yeah. I had a vision with a huge monster with yellow eyes and a big mouth full of gnashing teeth. Did it happen to spit anything at you? Yeah. I think it was like an old diving helmet or something. I see. Hmm. Yes, well, we'd better get you armed. Why? What's happening? Oh, nothing, nothing. Uh, prepare your mind. That's the motto of the Psychonauts. <clears throat> Here, this is a marksmanship learner's permit. It will only work when you're in Sasha's mind. Once you complete his shooting range, you'll get the real merit badge and you can side blast anywhere you want. Thanks. Hmm. Side blast? 
Cyberblast, 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 whatever it does. Oh no, Cyberblast. Cyberblast. Anyways, that's good for that to work. I'll see you later. I better go. Neither. Lots of work to do. Good luck, Rasputin. Thanks. I'll need it. Don't worry. I'll be right here with you. Inside your head. My huh? head? Yep. I want to keep my eye on you, son, so I'm going to be a psychic stowaway inside your noggin. If you ever want to make me appear, you can do it with this special device. It's bacon. <gasps> Is that bacon? A piece of bacon? Oh, yeah. I just love bacon. I smell that stuff and I can't help it. I drop everything and come running. Okay. Do you have like a little baggie or something I could put this in? You get a move on or I'll eat that right here. Hmm. I have bacon. Bacon, 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 bacon. So, he's now a psychic story by my brain. If I use bacon, you come to me, okay? Well, we just got a little spumant to do marksman inside Shasha's head. And now we have Agent Crawler, which apparently is the best psychonaut out there, living it, or spying in my head. So this is rather nice. And this giant piece of titanium looks like a brain. Anyways, I'll catch you next time as we come back to this weird science lab and to complete Sasha's marksmanship training. Until next time, catch you later.